What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. I am super pumped about today's video. Um, it's gonna be truck stuff and I know, you know, again, we've talked about this hundred million times. Some of you love the truck stuff, some of you love the ranch stuff. I haven't really delved into the truck world in a minute because I've been so busy out at the ranch. And by truck stuff, I don't mean the 6.0 back there. I mean, actually, I think Zach's almost here. So maybe there is gonna be some 6.0 stuff in it, but we are talking about Ford and we're talking about a truck I've never personally seen in person. And you know, the, the whole truck meet thing, and truck show stuff, that's cool. And we used to go to them a lot, but you start to see like the same stuff over and over and over again and there's only so many parts and so many companies out there um, on in terms of bolt-on stuff so you see a lot of the same repetitive stuff well today we've got something very different and something I'm super stoked about and it's probably the biggest I don't know if we can call it production truck because I don't necessarily know if it's like exactly a production vehicle I'm stoked to be able to see one in person film it walk around it Touch it, whatever's gonna happen today. Should be a cool day today. And while we wait, time for a little shameless plug. If you guys have not checked out some of the new Work For it merch, head on over to workforapparel.com. Check this out, hold on. Set the camera right there. Boom, boom, it might be backwards. I don't know, actually, that doesn't make any sense. It's gonna be the right way, but check that out. We've got a ton of cool stuff over on the website. We're dropping new designs consistently now. So do me a favor, go check it out, workforapparel.com. Ho oh, ho, we got the big toys. Well, I was gonna stop and get parts cleaner and stuff. I'm like, oh crap, this is in the bed of my truck. Yeah, we probably shouldn't, probably shouldn't leave that. <laughs> oh, look at this beast. Jeez, this thing's massive. How's it going, dude? Howdy. Ryan. Robert. Robert, nice to meet you, man. Dude, this thing is a beast, brother. Oh, hell yeah. Jeez. About four months ago. Four months ago? Okay. Good lord. Actually, uh, we, did, we bought it for the wife. This is the wife's? This is the wife's. I drive the race Okay. <laughs> okay, I like your style. Jeez, I mean, props to your wife, too. <laughs> we don't live in the most big truck friendly world here. Well, we do, but driving around town here sucks for big trucks. This is actually a lot easier to park than my dually. Well, I believe that. It's got uh, F 450 axles. So, so you got the wide track? Yeah. Nice. Make a U turn on a single, uh, double lane. Easily. Heck yeah. Dude, this thing is absolutely insane. Dude, ever since seeing him online, I've wanted to see one in person, and now it's like. <laughs> now it's even worse because now it's like. Uh, <laughs> now I gotta get one. So give me, a, give me a little walk around of this thing. Come on. We got, uh, got 46s. Michelin's, Jeez. Uh, military grade tire, bead locks. So those are true bead locks? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like I said, we got the 450 axles with the four, 488 gears. Okay. Highway speeds, is it anything weird or does it feel normal? 110. Jeez. So one thing I worry about with these tires, because I've been looking at doing something with these Michelin, because these are like the... Don't recommend 110. They're the severe duty tires, right? Or whatever yeah. they're called, and which are like rated at like 55 miles an hour. I think on the on the sidewall it says 80. Gotcha. Oh yeah, max speed 80 miles now. 80? Okay, that's not bad. Oh, but uh, with the gearing, it gets up and it goes. Well, I can see. I mean, just you coming around the corner, you like, it just seemed like you were just idling like it's it was so nothing. Good. Yeah. Then we got our uh, California compliant mud flaps. Have you had much issues with that? Because I've had zero issues. Utah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Utah, I've been pulled over numerous times. Uh, and you get pulled over in Utah for Yeah, Utah, Utah the, that's the Utah special. There's, there's sticklers about that. Yeah, everybody calls that California, but... For everybody watching, I have not been messing with mud flaps in years. California used to be like, freaking once a month, I'd get pulled over for no mud flaps. I think they got bigger fish to fry out here nowadays. They don't care. They don't even care about the tinted windows anymore. Yeah, I think everybody's just gotten either cool or they got more stuff to do, but... Lazy. Or lazy, whatever. Hey, I'm fine with it. <laughs> whatever they call it. What bumpers are these? Uh, stealth fighters. Stealth fighter? I've never heard of it, stealth fighters. This is the older version compared to the newer version that uh, Centaur is running. They're gotcha. running different uh, bumpers this year. Okay. I like this style a lot. I like them. They're sleek. They're not in your face. They don't look like a big old chin hanging off the thing. It blends in nicely with the lines. Yeah. Well, they did really well. Are these fiberglass? Yeah. I'm uh, fiberglass on it. Dude, it looks freaking rad. Absolutely insane. Do you 
bottles. They have like a lot of the fog lights in the front end. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of that. I think this is like, I don't know, it almost has a pre-runner-ish look to the front. Oh, big time. Yeah. This thing is so That's sick. Cool. Do you know the history or like the drama or the beef between like Centaur and Mega Rex or Mega Raptors or whoever the other guy is? Because I know there's like two people that make similar-ish to these. Well, the Mega Raptor is what uh, really got us going on getting a big ass truck. Okay. Because my wife wanted a Raptor, but it's, it's not really our thing. Okay. Especially nowadays, you got the, what, the V6 with the twin turbos. Right. With the fake exhaust sound. Well, if you guys have ever put an exhaust on an EcoBoost, and the reason I'm like, don't want to do it on the Bronco is because it sounds just like a Polaris Razor or like a Can-Am. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the little baby turbos or something, but they just sound goofy. So yeah, I think you definitely stepped up on the, the Raptor game here. Yeah, she wanted a Raptor and uh, I pull up next to a Raptor and it just dwarfs it. Well, yeah, I think it dwarfs most things. <laughs> this thing's gnarly. I mean, is there anything done motor-wise to it or? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm waiting on finishing my build on the dually, and then I'll be able to do the full thing. I'm almost tall enough. With my arm length here, I can get up there. Okay. She has all the coolers. Nice. So they matched everything to the Sinister Diesel Blue? Yeah. So I'm sure Sinister Diesel got butthurt and tried to sue them for using Sinister Diesel Blue. <laughs> <laughs> I love the white and blue. Like, I think that's, it's almost like a, it's like an anodized blue, right? I mean, it's- It's close. Yeah. That's so sick. We got like color matched headlights, tail lights. But I like the way it was done because it's just enough. It's not gaudy, it's not, not like, no. yeah, they didn't do too much. I mean, it's literally just the little accents of the blue and the headlights there. I love these little grills, whatever these are for. I mean, that's a cool little accent piece that they made. They did a killer job on the fiberglass work. Like, I think they shaped it just right for these trucks. Oh yeah, look at that. That's rad. You just push the button, pop open. It's a little dusty. Gotcha. Oh, that's rad. That's just for display. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know what you do with that stuff, but I love little trick details like that instead of just leaving it unfinished or using factory stuff. No, this thing is so rad. Oh yeah. You eat up a good bit of your bed there when you got, what are these 46s you said? Yeah. Yeah, 46 eats up a lot of space. I can only imagine how heavy that would be to try and pull out of there. And... It's a two man time job. Yeah. Rocking the Gen Y. I see she puts a little black smoke. Can I drive it? Yeah, I'm not gonna turn down driving this thing. Let's do it. Oh yeah, let's see what this thing's all about. So what year is this? Uh, 2017. Okay, this interior is like brand new. Like this is- Like I said, it's the wife's truck. <laughs> she does a good job taking care of it. Give you guys a little view there. I mean, it's just like, what is this? What's the width compared to the dually? Is it about the same? No, my dually's uh, probably 12 inches wider on each side. Well, your dually's uh, not stock. No. <laughs> compared to a stock dually, how are we looking width-wise? Well, this was a dually at one point. Gotcha, okay. But yeah, same same width wise. So they're converting 450s. Or is yeah. it a 350 with a 450 front axle? Either. Okay. They'll do 250s, 350s, or keep the 450. But they uh, basically strip down of a 250 or 350 and uh, put the bottom end of a 450. I will say, you can definitely tell these are some aggressive knobbies. Wait till you get up to a little bit of speed, it smooths out. Gotcha. I like how like it's, it feels like a bulldog. Like, I'm, I, feel, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Oh dude, yeah, what are we, 15 miles an hour goes right to smooth. That's uh, 20 miles over. It's 20 miles over? Uh, speedometer, yeah. So what would, what would we be right now? We're 40? We're roughly about 35 to 40. Dude, this thing, like I'm barely yeah, on it. it. Yeah, it's turning these 46s like nothing. There we go, look, there's a regular Raptor. Look at that little thing. Little brother. Look at he won't even look at us. He doesn't want to look at us. The thing I like about it is like, you're not wider than what you can see like fender wise. So it's not like you're worried about this thing being too hard to drive. I mean, if you hit something, you're not gonna notice. <laughs> yeah, you're just going over it. Yeah. Just keep going. Don't even think about it. But I mean, I hate to say it, but the potholes and stuff feel smoother in this thing than they do in my Bronco. <laughs> All right, so it says we're going 40. So that means we're going 60-ish, right? Ish. Ish, okay, okay. Crazy how much taller we are than these guardrails. It, this thing is smooth. Like, super smooth. I mean, I'm sure you can hear the tires, but it ain't like obnoxious. It doesn't sound like a yeah, like a super swamper. Yeah. We literally have no music on right now. If you turn the music up to like five, I guarantee you wouldn't hear these tires. But like, hands off the wheel. This thing's tracking straight down the road. Like, yeah, dude, this is the setup right here. Definitely overkill. Well, I mean, I think overkill means you did it just right. 
Yeah, if people think you overkilled something, you did it right. I even tried uh, towing the dump trailer with it. Yeah. On concrete, no problem. Well, so I mean, these severe duty tires, I mean, they're rated for like, look at like that crane right there. Hey, we got matching tires. Yeah, yeah. he's running a similar setup. I wouldn't want to buy these. Do you know what these cost? Not a grand a piece. Okay, that's not that bad. Could be worse. Yeah, a Toyo 40 is that. All righty, dude, this thing is. Yeah. This is on my list now of <laughs> ridiculous toys that we need. Yeah, look at this thing, guys. Just, let's get a, let's get a better walk around of this. Like how gnarly this thing is. Look at the size of just the steering stabilizers. Like, good lord. My favorite thing about it is it's proportionate. Like it doesn't look goofy. It doesn't have a giant lift on tiny tires because they only make street tires up to 40s or anything like that. Like it's proportionate. Wow. <laughs> they, look, they look funny in pictures, but in person they're uh, actually really, really cool. Right? Why don't you buy one of these? Keep buying street sweepers and crap. <laughs> it's done right and it's not overbuilt. <laughs> this is like a, I guess you'd call it a three link or actually this is this is the style setup me and Dedek had that argument about whether it was a three link or four link. Okay. Cause he's like, oh, there's four links. I'm like, no, it's only three. It's one, two, and then the, the track bar or the pan hard, whatever you want to call it. But it's the simple way to not mess up geometry because the way that the shaft drops and the steering and everything, yeah, you can get, it can get away from you, you know, when it droops super far down. Um, like this but this is the style that they use in jeeps and all the stuff that have all the crazy articulation yeah because they're simple they're simple and they work and then he's got caster adjustment you know i mean to an extent because of that you ever seen how much flex this thing has i haven't bought it zach go pull the flex ramp down you got the you have a forklift want to put it on the flex ramp sure okay <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I want to test my welds. <laughs> I don't think we've had the flex ramp down in forever. Just sitting right there. We're gonna move some hoses out of the way here. We're gonna sneak the forklift in alongside the old 6 uh, Okay, I guess we're climbing. All right, y'all, we got it, we got it. Sweet, made it. The old flex ramp coming out of retirement. If you guys are new to the channel, you've probably never seen the flex ramp come out. We built this for truck shows because we had to outflex Carlos. This is old news. Yeah, this is old news. Clearly she's a little rusty. She's been sitting here for a while. The plan was like this thing's gonna get powder coated. It's gonna get some like water jetted or laser cut plan side panels. For everything and it never happens. Yeah, so the thing disassembles nice and easy, right? Boom, boom. Welded up by yours truly. We're gonna see. Hopefully it doesn't break right now with the 10,000 pound truck. It's the heaviest thing that's gonna be on it. So it does require a clamp at the bottom. I never put a tabs to bolt the bottom together. So we always like to put a clamp on it just for safety. Not that we've ever had an issue, knock on wood, but you know, safety first guys. All right, keep in mind, hug this side. Cause as you go up, it's gonna start to walk that way. What do you think? The Denali's gonna flex better? You have air right. <laughs> He's got solid axles. All right. It's true with a 46 watching that. <laughs> Throw it in four wheel drive and it'll crawl up it. It isn't four wheel. That isn't four wheel? You're almost, you're right. It's right at that apex. Yeah. Stop. You gotta get burnt out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's like, it's, it's more rubber than most tires have on it. And you just shaved <laughs> that off like it was nothing. Did I? <laughs> Look at nice little divot there. No, this thing's hard to burn. Smells good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jeez. There's a new tread on there. <laughs> yeah, added a little. Gotta clean them off. A little, a little grip there. Got some asphalt embedded in it now. Hey, you got these though. You know that. that oh, jeez, look how much those caught. <laughs> That's what they're for. I hear you. Was it a Centaur truck that the Diesel Brothers jumped? I have no idea. The 
but this was actually one of their trucks. This, I thought I've seen this color combo. This was uh, the Muscles truck, yeah. Gotcha, okay, that makes sense. Alrighty, y'all, so we're gonna be blessed to have a work for it hitch cover on this beast oh, at yeah. some point once you get it color matched. That's gonna be color matched this week. Nice. It's gonna be best. This comes apart too. Yeah, so you just unbolt the front and then they do it two separate pieces. Prime example of the work for it. Yeah. Definitely. Do we, do, we, do we want to say what you do or what you guys do or do you care or no? Self-employed. There you go. We work for ourselves. There you we don't go. Work for anyone else. And then you get to drive cool stuff like this and then come hang out in the middle of the day on a Thursday. <laughs> and then go pick up the kid. There you go. I'm so glad to finally get to see one. So we were actually just talking. This was the Muscles truck from the Diesel Brothers. Um, I knew I'd recognize this color combo at some point, but it's hard to keep track of all the vehicles those guys got coming in and out. But and you were saying there's a full warranty on these things. Full warranty to a uh, hundred thousand miles. Okay. That's why you're not. That's factory warranty, and then uh, the Centaur lift kits is also warranted as well. All right, y'all. Well, huge thank you to Robert for bringing over his beautiful Centaur truck. That thing was so rad to see in person. Like I said, I've seen a ton of them on the internet. Those trucks just look right. Like the proportions are there. Everything about it was super, super cool. But we're up here in uh, Work for World headquarters now. I got to start shipping out all of these new shirts that you guys have been purchasing. So again, huge thank you to you guys. But with that, we're gonna wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's a truck on 46s in our near future. Don't forget to give this video a like, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com. If there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.